Hey YouTube, it's Ashley. I'm back today for my second haul. And uh, basically I just want to show you everything that I bought on a half off day at my local Salvation Army. So uh, what they do is they mark every uh, color tag except one color half off uh, every Wednesday. So if you go there on a Wednesday, all color tags except one particular color on this particular Wednesday, it was green tags. Every color but green was half off. So I will show you the things that I got. Um, most of the stuff has already gone through the wash, so it doesn't have the tags on it anymore. So you might see me looking down. I have a paper with all of the prices on it, so if you're wondering why I'm looking down constantly in the video, I'm just looking down so I can tell you what everything costs. So um, the first thing that I found were um, these skinny jeans from Ann Taylor Loft. And they're just in a really nice uh, khaki color. They're very soft. And these were marked $4.99. And they were a green tag, so they were not half off. So I actually paid $4.99 for them, which I still didn't think was very bad for Ann Taylor Loft um, skinny jeans. And the next item that I got is going to look very similar to those skinny jeans, but I promise it is very different. These are khaki capris from Gap. So they are a shorter length. Um, they're probably going to end up kind of long on me because I have short legs, but uh, they're just khaki capris from the Gap. And these were marked $5.99, so I paid $3 for them. And then I did get a second pair of capris. Um, these are from a brand called Citizens for Humanity. And um, I do have a few items in my closet from that brand. Um, I do like the items that I have so far from them. And it's just a pair of really light denim capris. And what I really liked was this uh, design on the back pocket that almost looks like an eagle. Uh, it's not actually an eagle, it's just uh, some line work. But from far away, it looks like an eagle. And these were $4.99 and half off, so $2.50. And then uh, the next thing that I got, um, another pants item. These are a pair of um, khaki pants from Ann Taylor Loft. And these were half off, so I actually paid uh, $2.50 for these. They were half off of $4.99. And I really liked the color. Um, they've got like a wine, a navy, um, just a, a color plaid that I don't have yet, which is an excuse to buy another pair of plaid pants. And then um, sticking with the plaid theme, I got this really kind of obnoxious plaid blazer, which is um, vintage. And I'm going to apologize, I'm not sure how to fix it yet, but when I film with my computer, everything comes out backwards. So you can see the label, it's just going to look backwards in the camera. It's a Karen Scott Petite's vintage um, blazer. And I'll just show you kind of how it looks. It's um, a cropped length. It actually kind of matches the silk blouse I have on right now, but you can see it's kind of ridiculous with the shoulder pads in it, and it makes me look like a linebacker. But um, I can take those out, they are built into the lining. I just have to open up the lining to get them out. And this was um, half off of $3.99, so I paid $2 for the blazer. And then I did get a few skirts. Um, I got this cute khaki pencil skirt from uh, Morona, which is just the Target brand and it has little pockets in it and it's just a nice knee length pencil skirt with a little slit in the back and this was half off of $4.99 so $2.50 and then I bought um, this really cute velvet pencil skirt um, this one I'm not sure yet if it's going to fit I haven't tried it on yet I actually didn't try anything on in the store because I was kind of in a rush um, which seems to happen a lot because I spent a lot more time there than I anticipate. But um, there's no label in it at all. Um, it may have just come out because it's like an older skirt, so it got ripped out at some point. 
but um, I also really liked the button on the back. And this one uh, was half off $3.99, so $2. And then I also found this nice um, black and white herringbone um, skirt. And I'm holding it sideways, sorry. Um, so you can see the pleat in front, the front. This is, um, it may end up being a little big for me. It is a size that's a lot bigger than what I would normally wear, but because it's a vintage skirt, um, sometimes I'll buy a size a lot larger than I would normally wear because vintage sizes run really, really small. So if you're not used to thrifting vintage items, definitely, um, you know, don't be afraid to try on a size larger than what you would normally wear, you know, two, sometimes four, maybe even more sizes uh, larger than what you would normally wear in current sizes. Um, sticking with uh, vintage wool skirts, I also found this one, which is probably going to come out terrible on the camera. You're not really going to get a good view of it, but um, my lighting's a little better this time. I have some natural light coming in. Um, this is like a navy blue and gray um, pattern and there's no label in this one and I almost think it might have been handmade handmade uh, this one was half off of 2.99 or actually this one was not half off this was a green tag so it was just 2.99 but I thought that was fine for a nice vintage wool skirt and that is the end of my skirts um, then I found this, um, some people probably aren't going to like this item, which is fine. Um, not everyone likes to thrift lingerie items from, um, used stores, but, uh, I don't mind it depending on what the item is. I don't think I'd ever thrift underwear unless they were still in a package, but, um, I found this slip dress. And it, I really liked the fact that it was black and white and it's pretty long so you'd have to wear it with obviously a longer length dress um, and the tag in it is pretty faded so I couldn't tell what size it was um, but it looks roughly my size if not it's pretty easy to take in on the sides and this was also a green tag so it wasn't half off but it was only $3.99 and then I also found in the, because that was in the dress section, um, in the dress section, this really cute, um, it looks almost like a jumper, but it is just a dress from Banana Republic. It's got these cute buttons at the top on one side. And it'll probably hit right about the knee. Um, and it's got cute little pockets in it. And then uh, I found some really pretty tops again. Um, I told you in my last video that I am kind of obsessed with silk, hence my uh, shirt today, a nice uh, silk blouse. I think this one is Banana Republic. And um, this silk blouse that I found at the Salvation Army is from Jones, New York, uh, which is a really nice brand. And um, before I pulled the tags off, it actually still had the uh, tag showing that it was recently dry cleaned, which I always like to see. It means that the person that had it before took really good care of their items. And um, it's just a really nice cream color. And it's in perfect condition. There's no snags, stains, anything like that on it. And it's just plain, so it's a nice staple piece. And then this, I was really surprised to see. I've never seen anything like this. It's actually a silk plaid blouse. This is also from Jones, New York. Um, and I apologize, I didn't tell you the price of the last two items. The jumper looking dress was half off of $9.99, so it was $5. And the cream silk blouse um, was half off of $4.99, so that was $2.50. And this was also half off of $4.99, so it was $2.50. Um, it comes up to like a turtleneck length uh, collar, but you have the option to roll it down and also to button or unbutton it because it has these really nice fabric colored 
uh, fabric covered buttons in the back. So um, I really, really like this piece. I love the color, I love the pattern, I love the fabric, I love everything about it. Um, and then I'm gonna kind of get into some of my favorite pieces from this trip. Um, I found this really nice plaid shirt from Ralph Lauren. And what I liked best about it was this applique patch, um, which has some really pretty beading on it. So it just gives it some shimmer. And then um, this actually I found in the shirt section, but it's definitely a dress. Um, it's a little too long to even be a tunic. And it is from Banana Republic. You can see the backwards label in my video. Um, but it's nice and long. This will probably hit um, again right about the knee. But it's that, um, you know, kind of men's shirt style dress. It's got pleating in the front and it is 100% silk. This was uh, marked $6.99, so I paid $3.50 for this silk dress from Banana Republic. And I'm getting ahead of myself again and forgot to tell you the price of that Ralph Lauren shirt. I'm trying to like do a speedy version of this video because I already filmed it once and it was way too long. So that's kind of why I keep skipping things. Um, the Ralph Lauren shirt was $3.99. It was a green tag, so it wasn't half off, so I paid $4 for it. Um, and the last clothing item that I got is my absolute favorite. Um, this item was in the dress section. It was another green tag, so it wasn't half off, but it was one of the cheapest items that I found, and it is my favorite. This dress, um, I immediately thought nautical when I just saw the navy and white stripes, but it does actually even have an anchor on the bottom. It has, uh, zippers on both sides of the bottom, and it is from J. Crew. Um, so it's in my size, it's perfect, um, it'll be great for spring into summer, and I can't wait to wear it. I've already washed it, and I'm really excited. And then I did get some accessories, hopefully I'll have time to squeeze them into this video. I think that's what made it so long last time. Um, I got these cute shoes. They're from a brand called uh, Linnea Polo, which I have never heard of, and I'm probably going to look up. Um, they have this faux bamboo heel and then um, like a corally peach color strap. And then I got um, this green tealish color leather belt, just a cute waist belt. And then uh, last, I just got some men's ties. So I'll try to film those really quick. Um, silk tie with just a cool little like circle pattern on it. Uh, this one has almost like a crest um, coat of arms kind of look to it, another silk tie. Um, this one I really like because it has a floral pattern but it has like a second pattern which is like iridescent on it which probably isn't going to show up very well. Oh, you can kind of see it. But it's really neat. It's by Van Heusen. Um, this one is just red and navy floral pattern. Uh, this is green with red and like a forest green. And um, I got this little kid's tie from The Gap, silk tie. And the last one that I found uh, kind of reminds me of like Scarecrow, Dorothy from Wizard of Oz. Um, it's just a patchwork tie. I thought it was really neat. Um, all the ties and the belts are $1.99, so on half off day they're just a dollar. So it's a really good deal. Um, I always look through the belts and the men's ties because we have Tie Tuesday at work. Um, a lot of people participate and wear a tie on Tuesdays at my work. Um, and the shoes were half off of $6.99, so $3.50 for a cute pair of wedges. So I managed to keep this video under 15 minutes this time, thank goodness. Um, thanks for watching if you made it all the way through again, um, and hopefully I'll be posting another video soon. Thanks for watching!